right, so here's why we've got to be careful with moisture meters. So I'm in a basement. This is the front foundation wall. You can see the staining on the floor. Um, you can actually see the staining and discoloration on the wall. If we take a moisture meter and we read this front wall, we're probably going to pick up some high moisture, which we did. So if we assume that all of this staining, this staining, and the negative grade at the front of the house, all of this, we could say, oh, yeah, that's probably water intrusion. Here is a great example of why we have to be careful with that, especially during the summertime. Now notice, this door is open. If you look up, that is a metal pan. This is underneath the concrete slab. All four walls in this room are block. There's no heating and cooling in this room. When I opened the door up about an hour ago, um, it made this situation even more exaggerated, but what's happening is we're seeing condensation, and here is a good example of it. See on the floor? You can see all of the water that's beaded up there. You can actually look on the wall and see the wall. That's water beating up on the wall. Condensation is forming on the floor. It's forming on the wall because the outside hot, humid air is coming in and it's hitting these cold surfaces. Now this moisture meter that I'm using, I can actually shoot an infrared onto the wall and it's gonna tell me, it's gonna factor in the surface temperature, the air dew point, and the, um, the air temperature. It's gonna take those and it's gonna factor everything in and it's gonna tell me that there is a risk of condensation on this wall. So if I'm checking this with the moisture meter, I have to check it with the understanding that it's a very likely chance that it's gonna be surface water, it's going to be water that's beating up on the surface, like here, and not water intrusion. Now we could be looking at water intrusion. I have to factor everything else in. I need to go out and look at the grade, I need to look at the staining, and ultimately I've got to come up with my um, ideas of what's going on. Um, now it, it, the key to this though is just understanding that the moisture meter readings are really going to be relevant in this situation because there's condensation on the wall. Of course it's going to read wet. I don't want to say that that wet reading though is the water intrusion. I actually just have to remove any readings that I take, I pretty much have to remove them because I could likely go to any wall in this room and find that same sort of condensation. It's probably most exaggerated on this front wall because this front wall is underground and it's colder, but these other walls could have the same thing going on as well. So we just really have to be careful with moisture meters, especially during the summertime on masonry surfaces, you're going to see a lot of condensation that comes up so we have to decipher what's condensation what's moisture intrusion